Did Lamar and the Ravens lose their identity against the Chiefs? I've seen a lot of that. I mean, I think I've seen a lot of that talk, and that's a fair point. I think that that's certainly something people could say. Uh, I guess it's certainly a contributing factor to why they lost. They, they didn't run the ball much. There weren't many design runs with Lamar Jackson at all. Um, and I don't think it was because they felt like they couldn't get it or go get to those looks because the Chiefs defense was, was that good. And the Chiefs defense is really, really good. Um, but I do think they lost their way a bit. I think that they try to fall into um, dispelling the narrative about Lamar Jackson and they try to have him throw his way into the Super Bowl um, to almost gain the respect of the public and gain the respect of all the people who doubted him. And they, got, they started to buy into the narrative about him this game being the biggest game of his career because he could dispel all the, the narratives about him out there. And it cost them. It cost them. I don't, I think they, the offensive game plan was terrible. Um, you know, and I, I don't think Tom Munkin is like a particularly great offensive coordinator. I think they have a lot of talent left and right. Um, but I just felt like they targeted Isaiah, um, Zay Flowers a lot in that football game. And he's great, great young receiver, but he's a young guy. And you have some other guys on your team, Bateman and, and Duvernay and other guys. And, you know, I'm, they weren't always hoping, but you, you have to try to get the, spread the ball around if you're going to drop back and throw it. It can't just be I'm dropping back and I'm looking for Zay Flowers every time. Um, not exactly the best way to go about playing offensive football. So, yeah, I think they lost their, their identity a bit in the game because they were trying to fall into the whole narrative thing. But the reality is the Ravens look like they were scared and the Chiefs look battle-tested. The Chiefs just literally put those guys in a headlock and literally choked the life out of them to end that football game. And that's what champions do. They make they make enough right plays over and over again to where it debilitates you and it just takes the life out of you as a football team. And the Ravens just had a bunch of turnovers to, to throw into triple coverage by Lamar Jackson because he's – I don't know what he thinks he's doing there or the dive, you know, the dive into the end zone by Zay Flowers, which was just crazy, that punch out by Sneed. So – like, you know, they they definitely fell victim to the hype of the moment, and they definitely did. And it's unfortunate because, like I said, it would have been a big deal for black people if Lamar had pulled that one off, uh, regardless of what people on TikTok think about what I said. It, you know, I, I, it, it would have been a big deal for a quarterback who looks like him and a quarterback who plays the way he does to win a Super Bowl. But it's a pipe dream for now, and it, may, and, and it, it just kind of feels like it's never going to happen. It just kind of feels that way. Um, just feels like he's never going to win one. Um, you know, I I don't even know I don't know how they go upgrade and get a bona fide wide receiver one for him. Uh, you know, that's the tough thing about it. I think he has enough offensive weapons to have gotten it done. And if he hasn't gotten it done to this point in his career where he's in his prime, I just don't know that it'll ever happen because you're your your prime is aligned with Pat Mahomes or Joe Burrow. There's always going to be some a killer in the way, always. So and that that can throw the ball with precision all over the field. Do it, you can't. So, you know, I just, you know, I'm very skeptical now that he'll ever win one. But they're going to be a great team. I guess that's fun for Ravens fans. They can enjoy that while they do whatever dances that are big over there at the same time.